But uh, I see Berettas, I get excited, and then I realize these Berettas are all alone. He needs two guns because he has zero teammates to try and help him here at this A site. It's off to the races with Rez as the double Beretta kill already comes in. He's looking to clap back with some more, but the bomb's planted. Now, there is this deep library control coming out of Brokey. This could make things very interesting, but you see the ninjas on high alert jumping through the doorway. He gets splattered the moment he enters Knock. Knock, knock. Someone's home. Brokey looking to bring it back with another kill, but now he's half health and his two teammates sectioned off inside of Pit. Rez now looking to get this retake rolling as Plopski's killed Nico. It is just Rain trying his damnedest to stay alive here. Brokey, all that remains. The defuse is coming through and this is Ninjas with a successful retake. Shout out to Rez. Player two. It is. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. See what I Here's tell Plopsky. you. Oh, they ready? ready? Oh, yes. Yes, I love it. The trigger discipline. It's good for one and a half. And when you tally up the damage that already been done to everybody else on FaZe Clan, you'd think this would be a round in the bag for ninjas. However, FaZe have found an opening towards this B site. Plopsky did a good job of just holding off and doing damage. Do they know, though? Is this unconfirmed damage? Yeah, they're... they're Do they have a good idea? What's going on here? Twist. He's making his way down mid now. They're getting into position. These players are so low, I mean. Yeah, it's nuts. Yeah. Step on their they toenail and they die. Should know about rain at least. That one's 100% confirmed. Nico as well. He is the first to fall to Kierby with a single kill there in the post plant. So the early damage racks up so significantly that ninjas easily walk away with that retake. Could have gone the other direction had someone from FaZe had health, but that was not the case. They're cautious of the arch wrap. Frag grenade over top. Almost perfect timing. Does a bit of chip damage into Nico, but the flash from Brokey assists in taking down Hoppus. Now it's Plopsky in the hot seat. Players over the top, not dealt with. Rain managing to get that headshot. I think this immediately pushes ninjas into the save call. Uh, now that the T's have really worked things out. And it looks like they're going to try to get some exit frags. But I mean... They could just lose more rifles that they probably want to hold on to. They have oh, enough for a frag. rebuy, but... Oh! Okay, that's money. And the health bar is so low on a couple of players. Utility clearly indicating the arch wraparound. It is knock with an op shot through that mid smoke. Actually drops the bomb carrier, but Kierby is still able to make a little bit of spacing here. Hompus, does he clear his closer corners? Ah, not fast enough with the barrel of the op giving him away. Kierby was honed in on it, but knock there to pick up the pieces and a 4v2 ensues. What's left of FaZe Clan is side by side with Rez dangerously close. They're gonna clear him, Cold Zera. Swift headshot definitely helps. He lays down his smoke on the default plant. This is going to deny a bit of vision here from Twist, but he catches them fumbling the bomb. The fire at their feet forced their hands, and Cold Zera barely alive now. 14 health, three opponents. He's able to cut it down to two. 45 seconds, trying to challenge, and oh my god, imagine a world where he snaps that spray in prediction of Plopsky's peak. It could have been superb. All right, this is quick, another one. Just looking to smash into this A site, but I mean, disjointedness. Sure, the second kill had a potential to be traded, but the first one, absolutely not. Sectioning off these kills one by one, finding them as they fall down into the pit with further damage. Brokey and Cold Zera, lucky to even be alive as that utility rained in on them. Look how scary. At least Nico are. didn't get hit by it. To be fair, this guy's felt like a frag grenade magnet since the servers, since the map started. Oh, Oy. God. Yeah, that was really nice. And he gets back into cover. Oh, going back for more. He's they wet. thought he had fleed or fled, but instead it's a second man dead. Twist trying to respond back up to Balk as the peek out from phase is stopped. Brokey and Nico here in the 2v5. Plopsky's able to stop them both. This, this almost looks unfair. Yeah. Squeaky mic arm, my bad. I'm not farting on the mic, thank you. <laughs> it's, uh, I, gotta, I gotta oil this thing. 
Hoppus, nice quick off shot, but he sticks around a bit too long there. Didn't anticipate Rain running him down. Solus for FaZe Clan. An opening at least, but an opening that could quite quickly close on them. Utility. Roki's gonna go for the bomb plant. Frag Molly, rather, lands on his head. That little mustache just got charred off. And now the 4v4 is what we're left with. There's a crucial duel that's gonna go down on Banana between Cold Zera and Twist. And Cold picks that one up. So now FaZe, they can just turn their attention forward. Look at this positioning on the back of the bomb site. Oh my god, nobody else even needed. Nico still yet to hit the scoreboard, but Rain with the 3k alleviates enough pressure for him to do it. He's cracked the curse. The first one is the hardest. Whoa, clean shot by Rain. Crouch peeking right into that angle, and Nock, he'll have the opportunity for more, and Rain continuing his dominance from last round. A site is cracked wide open. Oh, wow. Rain when again. It pours, you know what I'm That's saying? That's what they say. Go for the ace. Or not. Hop is gonna rock his world there on that wide peak. So, bomb pops. FaZe Clan will take a third. They still have a CT side to look forward to. Flashes and smokes in mid. It's all in on A. Rez remains in the corner, catching Nico. Tries to shoot through smoke, but the Molotov kind of forces his feet back ever so slightly. Brokey's gonna chill on the side of that smoke. Twist on balcony. No entry allowed. Brokey's gonna try to cross over from Arch. He gets his fourth kill of the map, and he focuses in onto Library. Now, if he buys time, maybe he comes at it from a different direction, but it's anticipated. Rain in the clutch, trying to cut down bodies, but he can't. It is ninjas to stop them at four. That nade is gonna come through from Nico. Does it bounce off the half wall is the question. Oh! Oh! oh. No! Oh! Oh my god, okay. It was wait, no, that was the jumping headshot. Yeah, from it was. I thought he got the first one, but Twist actually killed the first. Hompus then get <gasps> on B3. What is this round? Twist. Peeking into banana gets executed. There's the Nico we know. <laughs> Molly goes down from rain. Nico on the back of the site. Bit labored, but he gets there, and it's Reigns SMG to make it look easier. Nico's still back by new box, 25 seconds. Rez is getting surrounded. He's gonna try and kill the player close smoke. Ah, uh, but the gun goes dry. Awkward situation. Roki, he's back in coffins. He won't be able to beat this. Smoke front sight, and... Oh, Reigns does well to get a kill there. Mm-hmm. Can't manage the second, but low HP. Can't be too upset. Brokey. That's a good thing. Struggling find the eighth kill here. Nade does a decent bit of damage onto Plopsky, but he's still going to be all right. Above 50. Higher than that of Brokey. So slight health advantage here for ninjas in the post plant. Rez back on new box. Having a good game. No grenades to the T's. The counter terrorists throw in the molly. They've got a frag and a double flash, but the headshot connects. And that's all she wrote. A 12th round for the ninjas in pajamas. They're gonna burst through this. Plopsky at the front of the charge. Nico to the top box. Easy first one. And there's Rain to trade. He gets himself the double. Now it's Brokey to come out through smoke or no. Oh. He holds for a moment. One's gone by and there's one on the other side, but he's working with a sniper. Such an awkward spot for Brokey, but still he hangs on here. He's gonna be able to call his teammates into the retake. This leaves Twist in the clutch. He's got one Molotov to work with. I'm sure he'd love to shave off a kill just like that. Now it's the one versus two. He mollies off Banana knowing that the flash just came from there. He hits the dink, but Cold Zera doesn't seem to care. All right, all in on A site. Let's see it. Cold Zera on the balcony. He's got a teammate in the back of the site. That should be fine for Kierby. He lets the first man cross and then stomps back down on him, finding the arch player. Still no success whatsoever here for the ninjas. Space Clan, they're about to get themselves a 10th round. Ouch. Blinding flashbang. Player inside of the corner. Cold. Oh, he was so blind that Hompus, even though he gave him his back, was able to just slot into the track. Bomb's getting closer to the B site. 
We're going to have to watch FaZe Clan split into the 2-2, but Nico, he could flash them into Banana. Oh, oh Rain's going to take a lot of pressure onto his own shoulders here with this play, trying to make the most of it. Three players line up, but he only gets one. The Fomus betrays him. Meanwhile, a second kill goes down at the A site. Nico, everything to do. Again, singular frags coming out of the CTs, and because they're all around the map, that's not going to cut it. Brokey's op too valuable to lose. A 13th round for the Ninjas. Brokey's in a big position here. He's, he's going to kind of get drawn in two sides, depending on the utility and what exactly the ninjas get up to. But they're going to go four guys short lane. Tons of utility down into the pit, but it's not a problem for them. It's Kierby and Little Pit, who actually looks the wrong direction. Hoppus and Twist able to trade out versus Cold Zero once clearing Kierby. And just like that, the ninjas with a man advantage in the post plan. Oh, damn. Oh, but Nico. Maybe enough to justify the retake attempt. They've got the Molotov. They've got the double flashbang. Two mollies, however, if you include that of Nock. He's burning to a crisp. He's pushed into the open. Rain making the most of the moment. Twist dodging that first op shot. Has Rain coming down from above him, but he's tucked just beneath. Now he hears the footsteps. Swings for the first kill. Nico with the no scope, and he jumps on Bomb. Just enough time for the defuse. Two no scopes coming out of Nico this round to get phase an 11. Maybe Kierby can claw this one into the possibility. Ah, but he doesn't anticipate Rez being close. Roki's in position, eats the flashbang. Well timed. Knock trades. Versus the player on site, Hompus, he saw the back of Brokey. He's going to walk right into the crosshair of the AK. So many players getting a kill oh, and then being caught jumping around in the post. But here it is, Knock 34 versus Rain, who is the reason they are in this. He is so cool, oh my God. so calm, but he drops the first shot. Now Knock has a chance. He needs the headshot. And Rain just not even breaking a sweat. Start the day right, Rain. Risky position gonna eat a bit of a flash here nico he's trying to get as close to the smoke as he can oh superb crossfire cold zera even coming into the mix just in time a two versus five 40 seconds left over now knock he's able to drop nico but it's rain from the new box just constantly a threat every single time they try to sink their teeth into b a 13th round for phase Tons of utility for this round here. See if the ninjas can make the most of it. I mean, this is just such consistent pressure being thrown out by the flashbangs. Good frag grenade damage, in fact. It gets the assist versus Kierby. Or rather, the kill. Bomb's going to be planted on default. This is ninjas. I mean, I said that the economy was on the hinge because of last round, but even with lesser economy, ninjas come in with a better game plan. Calling out Nico as he tries to boost over that smoke. A flash, blinding rain entirely, leaves Brokey to run away. Oh my god, they've done it. They have a heavy lane set up. Yep, trying to get ahead of what worked with the Tech Nines last round. Brokey missing the op shot, that's going to leave Cold Zera up close. That was a CT flashbang that just blinded him. Imagine if they run rampant into that. It could have been a world of hurt. Brokey sees nothing, and Rez able to transition into the head of Kierby. It is an excellent wraparound. Just the round previous, they go so hard up short lane with nothing but tech nines that they took the site by surprise. Like you said, relying on the site hold, completely peeling off the defense. They were stuck in no man's land. The first two kills that come out for ninjas are versus phases players standing in the middle of the open and even Nico gets fully blinded can fight back a bit but down goes his rifle that leaves only rain standing as ninjas are taking a 15th round confirmed every gun that they can hold on to is valuable Ooh, oh and I have no idea he went quad okay and that Molotov keeps ninjas off for a moment but if they walk forward even despite the CTs being ill-equipped they are in position. Kierby gets burned off of his boost. That could have been huge. The CZ only one. Difficult position for Brokey to play from. Coltsera, though, they may not check him. The Deagle had a chance to fire into the back of the heads, but now they're able to get outwards. Nico's trying to focus the damage, but they are going to get by. With that bomb, they will walk onto the A site. And if that spreads further, Nico's done, but he will hold on for now. It's him and Rain. 
we saw a successful retake from the two of these players on this A site to keep them in the match. Nico, oh, that would have been a crucial kill. He could have picked up the weapon. He could have pinched in with Rain, but instead it's shut down. A 16-13 victory on Inferno. Ninjas have the edge. But on Overpass, this is supposed to be all NIP. They're great at this map. They love this map. And I know Nico hates this map. This personally, I know he hates this map. But Rain, does he hate this map? He has been <laughs> having a series so far. Great couple of pistol kills here. Fun fact, he only plays headshot deathmatch. The tension grows thicker by the second as the ninjas in pajamas near this A site. I see a player back by Bank, and Kierby takes the head off Rez. I'm going to call it. I don't think Twist has got this in him. Not with USP taps like that. Kierby. In front of it. Flash misses the mark for him. And knocks the only success story so far for Ninjas. There's Twist's headshot shut down by the off of Nico. Rez, one versus three, caught by the flanking Kierby. So FaZe Clan, they win out on the first gun round. The first real test. But they've got to clamp down on it. With that one flashbang that could maybe blind some bodies, but I think they wait a little too long here. CTs understand exactly what's going on, and now they're not able to close that last gap from bathrooms to the bomb site, and it comes to an abrupt halt. A grinding close to the end of that one. Phase 4-0. Mind you, at the end of Inferno, we did see that kind of like, you know, flick of the switch on the T side. The absolute bombardment of the Tech 9 rush. Well, maybe we pull one of those out of the ninjas soon. I mean, they're getting into the point where they have to change things up a lot. It's not just slight variations. They need to just throw it at the wall. And this could be it. 10 seconds left over. They need this bomb plant, but they also need to deal with rain. Three kills from him, just holding his ground. Sure, Knock will best him with the sniper, but so be it. It's the round win thanks to Rain yet again. FaZe Clan, a flawless CT side, nearly halfway through. Wow. Rain, patient as ever. Oh, he gets checked by Knock, who was able to get the first kill onto the bomb site. Here comes Rez rounding the corners of Long. That's a crucial kill. A molly on dumpsters gonna keep him safe enough. A fadeaway shot, but a constant flank. This has been so consistently been an issue. Ooh, Rez peeking into the bank. Now they can turn their attention back the other way. Both the remaining members of FaZe playing off of bathrooms. If Rez and Flopsky can break oh. through. Oh, that's nice. Rez just hitting headshot after headshot here, trying to drag his team, kicking and screaming into a round win. But Cold Zera, he screams louder. He beats his chest. And with three HP left over, FaZe will take their nine. Nox working through A. I mean, they're, they're going to, but there's 20 seconds. I mean, Nox can, he can hit heaven. That's a huge pickup from Hoppus. Now Nox kind of doesn't have to be that first contact, but as he works downwards, I feel like ninjas are going to be more and more confident in this round. Hoppus continuing. It's a slaughter. How have we gone? Nine rounds in a row from FaZe Clan. This could be a good round here for NIP if they're careful enough while oh, Brokey on the other side. He stuts down Plopsky, and Nico goes for a re-aggression on Short B there, caught off guard. Ducks right under his crosshair. Two more attempts, Short B and Long, both coming out simultaneously. There goes the first. Rez connects to the second head as well. Knock, scoped in, getting closer. He hears the footsteps. That's an easy pickup for him. Now, can he close the clutch? We've got Brokey versus Knock, Sniper versus Sniper, and a bomb plant ticking away. Knock dips down into the water. Brokey's oh. above him. Knock looking for something. Meanwhile, the attention should be up and high. There's the first shot each way, and the op reigns supreme. Brokey breaks the gentleman's agreement. He tries to swap to the sidearm, and for that reason, Knock with four health left over. But it could be the start of one. Minute on the clock, four CTs here on the bomb site. Nico, he's taken off of the totem pole, but. Nock's a little bit worried about which corners are occupied. There's another kill from Kirby's USP. The Deagle connects to the head, and suddenly it's just Nock left over. I mean, that two versus four looked like something awful for FaZe Clan. They are bouncing back with pistols. Now two of their players with hands back on the AKs. Nock's getting shot at. They're getting all the closer from all directions, and down he goes. They've made something out of nothing. Oh, 
Nice. But a second player. Oh, oh Brokey. Brokey breaks him. Puts him over his knee. Gives him a good spank and sends him sailing into the second half. He will get no further chance here on this T side. Resin knock to the A site. Already being swarmed from behind. And that is damage output from Brokey, but not quite the kill. Rez doing a good job of trying to keep his team afloat. Oh, and he even tags up Rain. Now he's got the Molotov to drop on Dumpster. Smoke to follow suit. No, he holds off on that one, taking further damage. But now that he dies, the utility's gone. It is all on knock. One versus three, and nothing comes of it. 11-4 after Phase's CT side. This is the map choice of the ninjas jumping into this T side. And when I say jumping, I mean it. They are already sprinting up connector as fast as they can with two of these CTs trying to just escape with their lives. Now that they've got positions closer to the site, maybe they lock it down. But Rain and Kierby and Rain yet again will have none of that. A flawless pistol by the looks of it. This could very quickly be going to the third. It could, yeah. I really thought that as weird as that first half was with the amount of dry peaks and ops and, and strange like slow rounds from NIP, we go on a CT side and it's going to be a real test for FaZe. You know, they're going to be comfortable on CT. It's probably going to be a bit easier for them. But of course, you know, without this pistol, these anti-egos, it's not going to be easy. Somehow, Popsky, because I think there's been a lot sure. of hate for Kirby, is that when he first joined, I was really, I didn't really think he was a good fit at all. But what we see now, I feel like, is a lot more um, autonomy in a round. We see Kirby take his own risks. And I guess hold on, because now those two players are dead. The 2v2. Deagle in. Up close. Maybe the player in heaven distracts long enough here. He'd have to topple Brokey first. <gasps> Brokey looks away. And the bomb does go down, but the damage is in. Knock and Rez able to close it. Ninjas with a fifth. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're spot on, actually. It's a tough... Uh, oh, my goodness. I feel like it was it was always going to be tough for BMAS, but having had the success on Brokey, they thought maybe they could do it twice. Right. You know, maybe Brokey is just or cut one a bit of a different that. cloth. Yeah. Yeah. Whoop. Down goes Brokey. Sorry, man. Spoke about you too fondly. Obviously, like the rest of FaZe, just getting picked apart here as they have so little to work with. Kierby, last man up. P250 in hand. He wants his bomb, damn it. But Rez is sitting on it. And now Rez has a teammate as well, so it goes from bad to worse. He tries his damnedest, but it all comes to a close. A sixth round for the ninjas. Yeah. Going for the long play as they get closer to the bathrooms. Dude, FaZe are going to be knocking on the front door. Good thing Rez can stop it on long. He loses a lot of his health, but Nock does still have a bit of assistance. Oh, he can't quite get back around the corner, though. They know a player has gotten down long. Hoppus is inside of a smoke with an AWP of all things. Not the best of positions, but he could just barrel stuff Rain or Plopsky even bails him out through the smoke. And Kierby goes down long to catch Rez with his attention turned on bathrooms. Man advantage here for ninjas. They don't have a smoke. They do have double mollies. They could completely counter Kierby and not even let him close. But what do they do about the bathrooms player? Well, he's going to be tucked into the side. Brokey flashes high, he's looking to peek alongside it, and he will net himself a kill. Now Hoppus no scopes, Kierby on long, Brokey battling it back, but FaZe will let this slip. Ninjas with a nine. Nox ready if they cross behind box, but if they just play for bathrooms, he won't see anything. Luckily for him, they do go wide, and he continues to hide. Oh, but Kierby, rapid headshot. Now Twist is coming in from behind. But which route does he go? And Hoppus, well, he's got a little bit of a platform here to play from. Hitting Coldzera. Now mauling him into the open. Meanwhile, Twist getting ever closer on long. And Kierby, he has not turned his attention to it. There's a world where the opera creates a distraction here with a flash. And then Hoppus, oh no, it's actually Twist who gets checked by Kierby. FaZe Clan take their 14th. Preventing Nock from running outwards, but Dumpster could still be such an issue. Kierby's going to go ahead and plant. 20 seconds to spare as ninjas are coming up from the B site. Nico takes close position versus the sniper of Nock. 
And now he's been revealed. Kierby, only a single kill. It falls on to Brokey. A one versus four. And the bomb isn't even halfway gone. He's been spotted, and now he's getting pushed. A collateral is huge. If he can take down the player up front, then the defuser's next, but Brokey doesn't chance it. He backs up, gives ninjas their 11th, and wants to try and cultivate some, so some sort of cash because they are going to be strapped. Phase in an awkward spot as ninjas continue the comeback. And they also have not back on the site. This is a serious issue. They're fragging so well. Oh my god, the pre-fire to do some damage. But hey, it's a 4v3. Yeah, something to work with. 15 health for Brokey and Cold combined. And down he goes. Oh, he heard the scout. He heard the scope. Nico tags him up and then gets the headshot on the follow-up. Pressure's on knock. Two players from long. He's blinded and still he kills him. But there's KRB to the top of the box as Nock predicts the peak, gets him nailed to the wall, and Nico now trying to clutch, but Nock stops everything. Pressure's mounting. Remember phase facing elimination. An 11 4 half, now nearly tied. Plopsky, oh, he gets killed from the other side. Kierby's looking to double down on this, but Hompus will answer. And there's nobody else on Monster. Res has advantage, sees the shadow. That one's easy. Oh my god, there's no money left either. Nico, also, again, a shadow advantage angle. Just giving these kills to the CT side. They're on high alert. They've got the better of the positions, and these are dry peaks in both instances. Ooh! Yes! Rain. Okay. Okay, I forgot who was really the king of the server, and he's got a little more to offer. If he doesn't get caught out by the man in heaven, he climbs over top of the barrels. They've lost track of him. Now he sees the shadow, but there it is from Nock. Yet another close coming in from the Swedish sniper. Rez unscopes as the smokes plume around him. He eats the flashbang. That's three T's coming in from bathroom. Knock at bat. He has been a monster. One away from his 30th kill. Three players for phase, and all of them are tagged dangerously low, but they're also dangerously close. Rez no scopes into the chest of Cold Zera, snaps back onto Nico, and Rain is all that's left over. He too, shy of 30, two frags away. And he heard that sniper pop off from dumpster, sticks around, kills the first, but twist will make the difference. Ninjas secure 15. That's match point. That's for the win. That's to knock phase out. And he's going to get into bank before these other two CTs get into position. This round is wild. And Cold, he's going to have the advantage. The sniper walks around unsuspected, but they don't know about twist. He gets killed by Brokey and Rez has nothing left here in front of him. 101 ADR, 28 kills, but he needs the 1v3 to close for the ninjas, and at least he can play this with nothing to lose. A smoke and a flash for him. A Molotov on Nico. Nobody facing. A stern-faced Rez walking in for the clutch. How does he section them off? He gets caught by Nico, and overpass keeps on giving. You know, round starts to get out of hand. He does take the right risk and finds out how to get kills outside Monster quite consistently. Oh, wow. Is there a key fragger from round 30? Oh, man, we need a replay of that. He just caught, just caught the man jumping behind the dice. And off of that, he's created massive space on this A site. I mean, we saw Cold Zera do exactly this at the end of regulation. Oh, but he took damage from that molly. Awkward Molotov spread, gives up his position, takes away half of his health. And now the two players inside of bank, they could be coming gunning for him. But Nico, he doubles back. And Rez better keep his head on a swivel. Nico's ready to move in. Oh, there's the duel. Goes the way of phase. All three of their players, though, half HP or less. And Twist sees a sliver of Cold Zera. That's all he needs. kierby has got his head tucked straight beneath Twist. Now he pops up and he seals the deal. Phase with the opening round of OT. And that could be key. Oh, and the Molly goes by. Is that going to spread? No, he's all right. And he's going to slip into this. They never expected that. Not with the Molotov. And now another one drops on the barrel player, but he lays down the smoke. Compass does have a little bit of room to work with. He's trying to cross paths with them, but they find him out. It is all on knock. 
I mean, let's just call it phase 17 to 16, two of their T side OT rounds. Considering they found so little in all of regulation, this is huge for them. Still outside of connectors, still trying to keep some kind of presence on the A site, but look at Kierby. I think he's going to get maybe flashed over top of this or just hope they push through the side. I mean, he's so low that he's just looking to catch him by surprise, and that's never going to happen. Coldzera buying a bit of time, but he burns. Pompis turns him to a crisp, and Plopski up at the A site gets killed by Nico. 15 seconds for the plant, and nobody there to stop it for phase. Yeah, they want to hold on to this off, and it's a, it's a much more confident round here from NIP than we saw in the first half. They moved along with the execute a lot more quickly. They got in there, they, they really pressurized it, and of course it helped that they did so much damage to Kirby. Kirby tried to push through the smoke by the looks of it, I believe. And it looks like B aggression is kept up by FaZe, but also over on A. Brokey's extended out long, he misses the op shot, four versus two. Double overtime looking likely, unless Rain, the first player to take over this map, has something to say about it, and he lets the first player go by him. Now that's three men up long, one on the bathrooms. Rain and Coldzera behind enemy lines. Oh my God, he could cut them all off, but he drops the shot and Hompus won't. Third kill for Hompus here in the most crucial of rounds, but the bomb is dropped. Coldzera's on for the clutch in the 1v4. Molly hits the floor and he runs right into it, trying to commit to the cause, but this is not looking likely. Double OT unless with that headshot, there's only two more players to take, and they are sectioned off. The flash goes high, and Coldzera dies. Overpass keeps on giving. The rain could go unchecked. Turns his attention, hears the steps, sees the shadow, can't quite get that second. It was close. Nico's now committed. If he tries to crawl back, yeah, that's exactly. He's just stuck in no man's land with a hand in front of his eyes. He dies. Three kills for Rez. If he can pull off something like this in overtime, tip of the hat. Potential for the ace as he continues to truck down long. Coldzera lines up bodies, but he can only get the single kill. It's Kierby now to try and close the cross. And he sees the duel. He drops the bomb. And with 30 seconds left, they're going to have to plant on the opposite side of the boxes. One V2 left over. He's going to announce his position with the Molotov. Doubles back. Gets another piece of utility. Oh, but he walks right into the gun. And that's not going to bode well for his HP. Sure, he lays down more incendiaries, but it's just an inevitability that he gets into the crosshair of Nock, who sets up shop and closes. Oh my god, Nock's position. He is on the A site. The problem is he's not scoped in. Plopsky's actually going to get the bathroom's kill. Now he can focus inwards. Two kills coming back for FaZe. They know. Oh, Nico, he denies it. And there it is. Coldzera sniper singing on the B site. A 20th round for FaZe looking likely. Focus forward, twist. Nothing to lose, but it is FaZe with a 20th. That was very difficult to deal with, especially versus the AUG. And now that Rez has been spotted, he's going to throw some utility, but they're going to try to pinch him. Kirby off. Called he out. That risk, yeah, and it gets called out with the bomb drop to boot. Two on Damn, five. Damn, Rez. That is a huge move. I mean, you saw him throwing the flash, knowing that the pressure was coming, knowing that the pinch was possible. Poor Kierby kind of thrown to the wolves in that position. Knock will miss his shot. 2v5, and Brokey brings it back by one. 40 seconds left over. But Knock's not making it any easier. And Brokey, well, he could get checked by Twist at a moment's notice. He's going to run right back into Hompus or Twist, either of which we're so ready to pinch. That's 20 rounds apiece. There it goes. Utility showering inwards. There's the answer back from the CTs, and they've got the entry rain. Maybe keeping his team in it. Hompus panicking, trying to spin in circles, and sure enough, it's a health advantage for the counter terrorist, but still it's the 2v2. Great grenade, a little bit of chip damage could have been far worse for rain. He is still in it. The first player to hit 30 frags in the server, now looking to keep them alive. A one tap into the brain of Nock leaves Twist to come walking outwards. Oh my God, he didn't see him. 
He's just committed to the position, but down he goes. It's a slight edge, a slight edge to the favor of Twist, but Brokey knows he's dropped down to the water. He has a flash, but the bomb's not planted for Brokey. Twist trying to close the gap, but triple OT on the cards. Oh, so often. The only solution FaZe had for this was to sacrifice a man on top. The flash goes deep. Rez, yeah, exact same situation. They do the same thing to deal with him, but in the meantime, they lose a second body down at the B site. There's Hampus coming in from Connector, able to drop the bomb and engulf it in flames. Nico down to 49 as he retrieves it. They're just going to try and express lane into the A site. Knock, mollied off, and still able to fight back with that sniper. Nico, barely alive, is doing everything in this round. He had the 3K, but it's not quite enough. Ninja's taking the first round of triple OT. Hump is trying to get back ahead of it. 25 seconds. Oh no. Rez, he gets caught by Brokey. This could compromise the entire A site. Sure, the Molotov's down, but so is the smoke. They catch a guy in the open. Hump is not able to get back behind the barrels because Rain is on a tear. He gets two. Knock answers. That's his 41st frag. 10 seconds. 2v2. Bomb not yet planted. It's able to cross over to Optimus, but Knock, he can't find the angle. Maybe after he drops Brokey, there's a chance. Oh. Cold Zera can't kill him. Knock with three kills yet again. Takes a 23rd for Nip. Carpet bombing short as they come barreling out from Monster. Smoke grenade a bit late. Twist trying to buy time. His teammate's not yet in position. He needs to go huge, but he only gets the first one. It's man advantage for FaZe Clan as they scramble to win a single T round in this third overtime. More frag grenade damage being thrown. Cold now dropped to 43. A player stranded in water. They know it, but how do they get him out of here? Brokey's trying to take the fight. He's the last remaining member of his team with HP. And they have no utility. Rez has one smoke. He starts to move forward. He gets the first duel. Rez able to get the second. Two HPs, the difference on him. Now Nico, he's creeping, he's crawling, and it's a calamity because Rez slams it home. Three frags for him and a clean sweep of the third OT to the favor of the ninjas. Kierby in a really tough position. His flash could be fantastic. Smoke goes down. There's the flash. He catches him. Oh no, he only gets the one kill. Rez is able to answer it. Cold Zera back behind the pillar. He's being swarmed, he's being surrounded, and he even manages to take one with him. It's still faced to hold on to the one-man edge. Make it a double. Brokey's sniper gets the difference maker. Rez, if he goes for the plant, he could just get rushed. He has no clue. No clue what's in store for him. The player in heaven, <gasps> oh he doesn't God. peek. Now he's posted. Rez hoping that he can do the exact same thing yet again. If he can find Rain in the open, that'd be massive. But off this bomb plant, Rain's going to come up ramp, and that's all she wrote. A 20-second round for FaZe. No issue. Five members of the ninjas in pajamas grouped up outside of B. Plopsky's going to drop that heaven smoke, flashing into short. Incendiaries kind of make them a bit uncomfortable. Cold Zera, oh my. He's able to flick back in time. And then Kierby's supposed to come off barrels, but he gets denied by Knock Rez through the edge of the wall. Takes the man advantage. This could be it. Rain at bat. 1v3. Little HP to work with and a bomb plant to make it worse. The flash is fantastic. Third time's the charm. They close it. The ninjas in pajamas eliminating phase from DreamHack open fall. A heartbreaking fall on overpass, but a hell of a run. An 11-4 regulation score that nobody saw coming.